What's going on, guys? It's your boy Surf, and I'm hanging out with Sean Shank. Say hi, Sean. Stop drinking your fucking beer. <laughs> Sorry, I was just <laughs> sipping on some syrup. Guz guzzling down beer like slurp, the fucking slurp, white slurp. trash you are. <laughs> we went for uh, tacos and beer, and that's not a metaphor for <laughs> pussy so. and... I don't know. Well, I went for pussy, and then I just had some cock, so yeah, that's fine. <laughs> a big biker came by. A word about this gameplay. I play some sticks and stones. This is theater mode. It makes my aiming look so much worse than it really oh, is. But now. the first game, I do all right, and the second game, some guy was being a dick, and then I bankrupt him a couple of times, and it's uh, it's pretty funny. I don't, but, even know uh, what the, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Yeah. <laughs> bankrupt. <laughs> uh, that's the story of my life. That's real <laughs> life, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so we were talking. We were like, "Oh, we don't know what to do for a commentary," and so uh, I don't know. We talked about it, and Sean was like, "Hey, we should talk about change," and I thought that was a good idea. What do you have to say on change, Sean? Well, you know, it's especially with me. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of change over the past um, I don't know six, seven years of my life. You know, getting divorced. I was married for eight years. Um, you know, I have two kids. My son is going to be fourteen. My daughter's ten. Um, you know, moving out of the house, uh, leaving them with my, my ex-wife, uh, her going through, you know, dating numerous guys, introducing different guys into their life, and uh, her getting remarried recently back in, uh, in September, um, you know, switching jobs, not by choice because, you know, companies with the bad, the shitty economy, you know, going under, companies I was totally comfortable with, and, uh, I'm just trying to fucking play. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I'm just, I'm just laughing because I was like, everything was at this tone of voice, and then this, it just made me laugh. I, don't well, know. I, I think that was part of the point too. Is I see your fucking face, I'm like, I just lost fucking total train of thought. It was just like ridiculous. No, but it's like, it's like, I mean, everything. You know, it's like, I, I'm not a big fan of change, and it's like, especially over the last. Who is really? Well, right. I mean, it's over the last couple of weeks. I've had to deal with a lot of change, y'all. You know, I mean, my ex-girlfriend getting engaged was a, a huge change for me. I mean, we've had a pretty good relationship over... See, there you go again. <laughs> it's just, just you fucking chuckling. Uh, uh, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> the nature of change, though, it's like... The, I've heard this quote one time. It goes, uh, it goes, the one, the one constant in life is change. The one thing you can count on in life is something like that. But it's true, though. Like, no, it is. I mean, I, I agree. I mean, that's... I mean, at least in my life, I fucking feel like... Every day is a goddamn change. It's weird, though, because if things were always the same all the time, there'd be no real motivation to adapt to your surroundings. I think that's, like, the nature of change that's actually kind of cool. It's like, at first, it's really uncomfortable, right? But, like, after that, like, shit starts to... You fall into a new rhythm, and you find new things to like about that new set of peripherals. At least in my experience. Right. Well, I mean, I mean, every everything that's happened, you know, regardless of the changes, for me, has always turned into a positive thing. It's like, you know, I was, you know, I got divorced, and it ended up being a better thing for me, you know. Basically, you know, I went from being uh, living at home to getting engaged to breaking off my engagement to uh, meeting my getting my wife or my girlfriend at the time pregnant, getting married, and uh, then basically after getting divorced, moving out and finding myself basically was. Uh, you know, moving out, being myself. I never went to college. Finding I never... your penis was a new yeah. discovery, too. I'm still, I'm almost 40, and I still haven't found my <laughs> penis. So, I mean, if, if I do find it, I mean, without blowing on my thumb, it'd be great. But, I mean... Well, well, so some, I was going to say, some of the good things that, that didn't seem so good at first, like, okay, we were talking about... Um, your district manager has been let go of his job, and that change is kind of painful. And you were saying, like, oh, it, it sucks. Like, at the previous company I was at, if I was still there... I would I would be a district manager probably making six figures would be super happy and then you were like but I would have never met you right and, I, and meaning me surf yes and yes exactly I thought that, I thought that was kind of interesting like those little points of speculation are are sort of interesting like for me like if I would have never um, changed my schedule around for my freshman year I would have never ended up in the gym class with my friend Ty he would have never recommended me to go play in this band that he met and I would have never met my now wife. You know, so it's like weird to think like something as stupid as a schedule change led to like me having a, a wife and kid. Right, and I mean, I think about a lot of that shit is, um, you know, you know, if I didn't do this, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I think, I mean, I wouldn't change anything that I'm at today and who I am today and who I've become over the last almost forty years. Um, I would change a lot about you, but that's well, yeah. Just I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I love to change my small penis and fucking <laughs> have a dick that hung down to my fucking knee. But I mean, that's not gonna happen. So I mean, I'm not gonna go ahead and pretend. But, I mean, it is. I mean, like I was saying, I mean, 
you know, I think about, you know, if I didn't meet my, if I didn't marry my, my wife, um, I would never move to where we live together. I would have never had the job I did and I wouldn't be where I was today. I wouldn't be the man I am. Um, you know, I wouldn't have two kids. I'd have, you know, one kid who, you know, I mean, I would still take care of, but only you know, marginally. <laughs> yeah, barely. <laughs> the bare minimum. I may pass them on the street and say hi. Here's some bread and butter and I'll leave me the fuck alone. Go sit in your room. <laughs> I give him butter or bread. He doesn't give him both, <laughs> goddamn. The fuck do you think I am? Responsible? <laughs> what is this? Whole grain? This is bullshit. Exactly. I give him fucking scraps mm, for my subway, which funny. would be nothing. <laughs> I let this part of the video set up for a long time. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Uh, Good old Call of Duty. So in in the past, I don't know, whatever, your, your your latest frame of reference, what would you say has been the most positive change that started out as something you thought was a pretty shitty change? I think it would be getting divorced. I mean, divorce was probably, you know, like I was really down on it. And, you know, I made mistakes and, you know, I'm not going to go into what I did. But, did you, you feel know, like some people do like it was a total failure? Uh, well, it was a total failure, and it was it was a total failure on my behalf. I mean, I failed as uh, as a husband, and at that time as a father. I mean, I wasn't giving everything I should have for either. I mean, I didn't give her, you know, what she needed, and you know, she was willing to bend over and do anything to, uh, you know, make sure, <laughs> literally <laughs> bend over and do anything to make the marriage a success. And yeah. to me, it was just. I mean, I got married too young, and you know, I need to sow my wild you? oats. I mean, you guys are gonna say, oh, oh well, you weren't too young. I was twenty six years old. I just want to say that's <laughs> so my wild oats is like <laughs> not something I hear every day. But tw- 26 is young for some people. Yeah, I mean, I guess 26 is young. It's just, I mean, it all matters when you hit your peak. You know, it's like I wasn't like 16, 17 years old when I hit my peak. It's like, like I think we talked about on Overdose uh, last week is like, you know, I, I became a manager and I became like fucking Tupac. Where it's like <laughs> bitches were throwing, were throwing pussy at me. It was like motherfuck yeah and you know i mean i met my she was my girlfriend at the time and i cheat on her numerous times and uh she ended up we weren't even dating when she got pregnant and um she told me she was getting she was pregnant and i had an option an opportunity at the current company i was working option at. to buy yeah so well, i had an option to abort <laughs> <laughs> and i chose not to thank god uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just totally wrong. <laughs> That's it's it's fine. <laughs> it's totally cool. Uh, um, well, I had I had the option at the time at the company I was working at to go open a bunch of stores in Germany for six months, and I was gonna make a, a, a yeah, ton of German money. schnitzel. Oh yeah, I would have had a bunch of German schnitzel. I would have gave him some schnitzel to suck on. <laughs> they had a microphone and a tweezer, uh, but uh, we, they didn't at the time. And um, because she told me she was pregnant, and this was within the same week time span. She. Um, I got the offer. Uh, she told me she was pregnant, like, let's say, on a Tuesday. And, like, on a Thursday, my district manager called me and says, hey, I know you're interested in going to Germany and um, opening up a bunch of new stores. Would you be interested? I had to turn them down because she was pregnant. And, I mean, to me, that was a huge shot in my career because, I mean, you know, I and like we talked about a little bit earlier is where could I be today? But, you know, everything to me, everything happens for a reason. It is what it is. And, uh, I mean, I think everything turned out great. I have two wonderful kids. I have a great relationship with my ex-wife, regardless of, uh, you know, what happened. You know, she's remarried. She's happy. I'm happy. And, uh, I mean, that's really all that matters is that the people you really care about in life are happy. And the the thing for me, too, about, like, change is, like, I've inherited, unfortunately, I think part of it genetically is, like, my mom is a very anxious person. And so anxiety for me is something that's sometimes, like, a snap – initial reaction to just any type of stimuli but change in particular is one of those things where it can feel sort of panicky like especially when you don't know what to do in the situation or if it's something totally out of fu- the fucking blue i mean when i found out about brad like i was totally unprepared i couldn't even fucking financially fend for myself let alone a, a family but it's like as i've gotten older and as i've dealt with change more you learn to adapt to challenge and change like and if you take it with a spirit of positivity like it I think that's why people mellow out as they get older, too, is they sort of learn that, like, change isn't necessarily this eminent death of something else. It's the opportunity for something else. You know, those are two totally different views. Like, in terms of viewing change of, like, oh, my God, this is a crippling, despairing fucking thing because I'm losing this, instead of going, okay, well, it's an opportunity for something new to happen. And ultimately, that's what I think keeps life interesting is that, like, if we really did the same things over and over again from birth until death, like, life would be so fucking boring, you know? And it's, I think that's what, I don't know, I've come to sort of look forward to change. I I sort of see it as an opportunity now instead of 
you know, a fucking a punishment. No, I agree. I mean, I mean, you know, it, it's a hundred percent true. It's like, I mean, it's just the fact that you know, I like like we were saying earlier, is that my boss lost his job earlier in the week, and you know, I mean, it's the fact that I'm not looking to move on or do anything else. I'm comfortable in my current position which is doggy style and taking up for the ass every day, that, um, you know, I mean, someone else could just come in and slide their cock in as long as they put a little lube on, I'm fine with that. Um, so, I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing. It's just the fact that, you know, when you're comfortable and you wake up in the morning, you know what you can and can't do, it's, you know, you got to get those boundaries again. And, I mean, I guess that's what it I does don't suck. like. By the way, Sean is my ex-boss, and I hated Sean when he came to my store because he took the place of my old boss, which I really liked. So it was the same thing. It was relearning those boundaries. It was relearning how to stroke a different cock, and I didn't like your cock. It was bendy and awkward and short and and warty, but <laughs> I, I didn't want you to forget warty. Yeah, uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean that that recalibration is sort of it's a pain in the ass. It is, and I mean I think that's the only thing I, I'm kind of down on is you know I knew what I had, and now it's just you know. I don't know what I have. And it's the same thing like getting divorced. It's like, you you know, you get divorced, you move on, you know, yeah, you know, it's different pussy and shit like that, but it's different. It's a change. So in summarization, what advice would you give to our viewers about changes that they're confronted with in life? Change is a good thing. Turn every negative into a positive. Learn from every experience you have. Because throughout life, I've learned. I mean, everything I've did has made me better and made me who I am today. I'm a great father, and when I do get remarried, I will be a great husband. That's what's up. All right, guys, hope you like this commentary. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, favorite, all that shit, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.